as you may have noticed everyone on youtube is buzzing about the major upgrade from davinci resolve 18.6 to davinci resolve 19. there are plenty of videos covering the new features in davinci resolve 19. in this video however i'm zeroing in on just one of the new features the multi-poly node in the fusion page let's get it let's jump straight to the fusion page i believe you already know how to do that by now so before we talk about the multi-poly node let's first explain what the polygon node is which is the one we already have prior to this upgrade for me to do that i'm going to bring down the background node and i'm going to put the background node to the preview window so let's make this background a circular shape in order to do that, I could do that by masking the background to the Eclipse node. Okay, now the background turned to a circular shape. I could do that with the rectangular shape as well. So let's try that right now. Let's delete the Eclipse node. Boom. And let's try with the rectangular node. Let's connect it to the mask. And of course, we could reduce the width or the height. We could do that here or we could do that on the inspector. Okay. Also the width as well, or the width here in the inspector. So here we could just customize the shape. That's basically what that does in the inspector side. So let's delete the rectangular node and the poly node. So what the poly node does is it's going to allow you to make up your own shape. Okay, so you could draw whatever shape that you like. All right, you might have to get used to drawing with the polygon node boom okay so that's just a random shape so let's reduce the size here okay so that's the regular random shape okay now i'm going to bring down three different shapes using the polygon node let's do that okay in order to do that i need to bring down another background node and i need to bring down another polygon node and also i need to connect this to the background node okay so now i could draw another shape let's make this something like this and make it easy okay so let's bring this to the viewer so now we have two shapes but let's try to make it pretty shape okay in order to do that i have to bring down again another background node and another polygon node maybe let's get a diamond maybe all right so again so now we have so let's connect this to the workflow and let's bring this to the viewer so now we have three different shapes but if you notice it took us eight nodes to create these three different shapes which isn't bad it's not bad however we could make it simpler and we could make it more efficient again we always want to work faster as an editor right or as a designer wherever you are your goal is to always work faster and more efficient okay so this takes us to the multi-poly node So what the multi-poly node allows us to do is we could do all of that with just one singular node. So let's bring this to the viewer. Let's draw the first shape now. Just like the polygon node, you can draw any kind of shape that you would like. But unlike the polygon node, the inspector looks a bit different and the inspector has a poly list. And the poly list is kind of similar to layers. So if you have Photoshop, you are familiar with layers. You could add polygon here on the polygon list. And now it gives you the option to draw another shape. Boom. Guess what? You could draw even more shapes. So now we could add another shape. So now we have three different shapes, but we did it with just two nodes. Our work is cleaner and we work more efficient, even a tiny bit faster with this option creates more possibilities so let's check out what we could do with the ability to do stuff like this we could create shapes easier than usual let's do a little bit of a demonstration here all right so let's delete all of this and let's add poly and let's say we got some random shape like this and let's make it a bit tinier here so we got a shape like this and let's add another poly to add another shape in reality you could actually create this same shape with the normal polygon node but the thing is we want to do animation you have to think about your animation before you even create the graphic that you're trying to animate 
okay the way you arrange your nodes and the way you form your graphic that you can animate matters a lot okay so and that gives you more possibilities to animate with the freedom that you need let's check out what i mean here okay let's say you want to animate both the side or uh, shape and the bottom shape separately now you can with the multi-poly nodes you can also do it with the usual polygon node but the thing is you need more nodes to achieve the same thing okay let's say this is the final destination of the animation but you want the side and the bottom to have different uh, animations all right so let's animate the angles okay and let's change the angles boom and let's do the same to the polygon here animate this bring it okay bring this out of the frame what it, it doesn't actually matter so when we play this boom so what that did is to give us more creative possibilities okay so now it's possible to separate the animations that's shape creation the next one is whole creation all right so let's delete this poly here so let's create one long triangle shape boom 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 okay so we could create holes easily here by adding another polygon shape boom 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 okay so it looks like uh, just a different shape right but we could do something here we could go to the inspector uh head to paint mode and change the merge to subtract boom and you got a whole creation okay so you could create another one similar to the first one and do the same thing okay uh head to the inspector head to the paint mode change the merge to subtract same thing uh let's do that one more time another polygon node create this okay subtract and we just did this with two different nodes as easy as that okay so that creating holes have never been easier and there you go and also the last example that i got here is masking accuracy So we still gonna use the same node and I'm gonna bring down a picture of this guy right here. Who is this guy? I wonder who that guy is, but hey, does it matter? Okay, all right, so I'm gonna connect this to the picture and I'm gonna put this to the preview. All right, so I'm going to delete some of this, actually all of it, okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try to create something that looks like the picture is holding that image that I just created. I mean, you could always do all of this prior, except you need more nodes to do it. Okay, so we're gonna draw an object here. Draw an object. So well, again, we are trying to make it seem like I'm holding the object that I just drew on the screen. To do that, it's still the same process, all right? So we're gonna add another polygon layer and we're gonna zoom in for more accuracy, like we said, and we're gonna zoom in a little bit more and we are going to kind of mask out the shape that we already have here uh, close it boom and we are going to go to uh again paint mode and we're going to go over there and hit subtract all right so now it looks like i'm holding whatever image that i got there all right this is precise masking it just got easier okay easier faster and you don't need to think about it so much by the way all of this come in handy especially if you're building a complex node tree all right it might not look like much here but remember when you're building a complex node tree you got less node to worry about and boom you got one node doing all the work for you so guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more and don't forget to hit that notification bell and i'll catch you on the next video Peace.